Yay! I finally got to decorate for Halloween. I'm so excited. And I can't wait to share it with you. So I'm going to do my best. Um, this isn't the corner of my family room, which I have this table I got at a uh, thrift store. It's made out of a barn door, and it's so cool. So I thought this would be the perfect little desk for a witch. So that's how I decorated it. Now, in this video, you're going to see it in the daytime and at night. Forgive me, I tried my best. The nighttime videos are not the greatest. <laughs> um, no matter what I did and how many times I filmed it, I couldn't get it clear. I don't know. I'm not proud of the nighttime ones, but I just wanted to show you at night with the candles lit and all that, how it looks. So bear with me. But this little desk came out so cute. I have a spell book that I crafted way before my YouTube channel. I have my favorite Sanderson Museum of Witchcraft sign. I have a phone and a spell book and some apothecary jars. And this little beauty I made out of a bunch of different thrifted items. And this is my cloche that holds my poison apple. <laughs> and this was so much fun to make. And this also was before my YouTube channel. Um, but it was just a candlestick and a platform and that's a vase and then the top of it is a mini little vase I found and I just put all of these items together to make a cloche for my poison apple and I just think all of these little items together are so stinking cute for my little witch's table. Above my table, I have a shelf, and that's where I put my Something Wicked This Way Comes sign that I just made in that last video. The candle operas have been painted black. That was also a thrift store find, and I found two of them. And I just put little black tea, uh, battery-operated tea lights on them, and it just works perfect. And I love the way it all comes together. I added that beautiful flower that you got at Dollar tree and I added my favorite purple rose that my son's girlfriend gave me so that all just kind of ties in with that purple background of that picture that I made. Above my sectional, I have ogre's blood, <laughs> apothecary jar, and my bleeding candle that I made in my candle video. I have those two together, and I decorate with creepy cloth over everything because I just think that looks spooky. Um, I didn't do too much on my table behind my section. I just added a few items like my skeleton with the decked out hat, some pumpkins, another boo candle. I have my bird cage with an owl in it and there's my two black pumpkins and I actually found a spooktacular sign at Dollar Tree so I thought that was cute to add since a couple of my videos were called spooktacular. So that's behind my couch. So heading on over to my fireplace, um, I have some spooky jars that I found at the thrift store and another candle opera. I have my Halloween town sign that I just made and then just items I've collected. That 31 I actually found at Goodwill. I actually... I absolutely love that sign. Um, some of this stuff came from Big Lots and Dollar Tree and probably Family Dollar and Dollar General. Um, just things I've collected. I have a 
rusty little lock sitting by that camera that was from a garage sale like I said it's just like all year of or not all year but through the years of collecting now I do have some red lights in one of those jars and I actually have a hand <laughs> Oh well, yeah, it's a little creepy, but it's cool. It's Halloween. And I put some black tea light battery operated candles on top of my Halloween town sign as well. And I just think this little area is so stinking cute and really comes together nicely. On the opposite wall, I have my cabinet, which usually I decorate the inside, but I opted to put most of my apothecary jars in the kitchen this year. So I decided to decorate the top of it with my raven decor. I absolutely love ravens. These are items I made or found at Goodwill. Even the cage was a thrift store find. And my little raven is sitting in the cage. This it just has a few apothecary jars at the bottom where you can see through the glass and then I have my alchemy shop scroll hanging on the door. Um, that scroll I got from eBay. I absolutely love that scroll. Oh my gosh. I got that a couple years ago off of eBay and I use it every single year when I decorate for Halloween. I made this in my last DIY, and that's my creepy little skeleton guy. He is the person that you rent your witch's broom from. <laughs> and that's a thrift store flip that I just recently did, and it's a Salem broom rental. So I thought that would be nice and creepy to have that guy be the one that you have to go to to get your broom. So we're going to head on into the kitchen on my buffet. I have my black flame candle and my black flame candle sign. Um, I have a little potion carafe and some skeletons and creepy soap. That raven and pumpkin garland I actually got at Goodwill. <laughs> I got lucky and uh, found a bunch of neat stuff at Goodwill. And then I have my tiered, my massive tiered tray, which I really don't like this tiered tray. I want a smaller one. But it has all of my hocus pocus decor. Most of this I made this year, if you want to check out that video. And there's one of my bone candles that I made out of a pill bottle in my candle video. And then I tilted my it's October Witches sign and put that on the tray um, and just decorated it with my wooden hocus pocus gnomes and my little signs and I think it all came together nicely I definitely need a different tier tray because that's a very hard tray to decorate it's so big and then I just added like a clock and a little skeleton guy up top and just I really went usually I'm like decorating every space this year it was real minimal and i really like how it turned out this year i don't have as much stuff out as i usually do but i love the placement of everything this year
So I wanted to show you guys how it looked at night all lit up and I had to bring these flowers out and show you. These are from Dollar Tree. You get two for a dollar and they're roses and they're so soft. And I did not know until I turned it on that they blink different colors, just like the white Christmas trees. So cute. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love those. I had bought, I can't remember when I even got them. I bought a pack of white and a pack of pink. Um, because I probably at that time had an idea and forgot what it was, but <laughs> it was a happy accident because that's really cool how they blink different colors. So above my door is a shelf my husband made for me, and it's very hard to film. I did my best, <laughs> but I have candlesticks, I have some apothecary jars, I have my haunted house sign up there, I have some wooden apothecary jars, of course some skulls, and just some of that stuff is up there all year round, and some of it, of course, I added for Halloween, my black cat sign. Then moving on to the other side of the kitchen is my makeshift little shelves I put together. <laughs> but here's where most of my apothecary jars are. And I totally forgot I had these glasses and found them this year. And I thought those really look good for Halloween. And signs. And you can see those like really dingy jars. I actually got those at a thrift store Um they all came together and they're so dingy and they just are, to me, scream spooky. I had some vintage spoons that I put next to the jars because you need a spoon with your medicine, right? And just some more apothecary jars. I love my black pig. <laughs> I bring him out every year for Halloween. And I had some rats on the shelf. And yeah, just had fun with it. And here it is at night with all the candles lit up. <music>
Next to that, I have my uh, cemetery dart, <laughs> which is really cool because my husband let me borrow some sand from work and it actually looks like there's chopped up bones in it. So I thought that was cool for cemetery dirt. And um, then coming up, I have my skeletons I got from Family Dollar this year. Two of them are taking a selfie and two of them are loving, looking lovingly into each other's eyes. My cutting board I made last year and my family of skeletons that I've had probably for over 20 years. Um, a friend of ours made that for us. I hope you guys enjoyed this home tour. I love sharing my Halloween decor with you guys every year. If you liked it, check out some of my other Halloween videos that I've been making for a month now. There's quite a few. And if you really liked it, consider subscribing to my channel and ringing that bell for future notifications. And hey, hit that thumbs up. That helps me out tremendously. I hope you guys are having a blessed and wonderful week. Thank you for joining me. And I'll see you guys next week. Love Love y'all. Bye.